W X. Oh, I thought you guys knew that those were the shortcut, the three short. Did you guys read the title? Three shortcuts? Okay. Anyway, today we're talking about three shortcuts that are going to make your editing process in Adobe Premiere way quicker. As soon as I learned these, I was like 100% faster at editing and you will be too. It's Workflow Wednesday. Let's go. W and X, like I said in the beginning, those are the three keys on your keyboard that are gonna save you a ton of time. It's like a video game, you just do it, and you're editing just through the roof, workflow, productivity, amazing. Let's get into it in Adobe Premiere. So let's say you've got your timeline all laid out, or you've got the clip you want on your timeline, okay? Right now you're going and you're pressing C to get that razor tool and scrubbing along and finding where you wanna cut it and then you click it and then you have to go back to the, the selection tool and delete the one you don't want and then you're gonna have to ripple delete and put it where you need it to go. That's like 12 buttons that you can just completely avoid, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the clip where we wanna cut it. We're gonna say right here and you're just gonna hit the Q key. Once you hit Q, it just pushes everything forward. Same applies to the W key. The W key will take the end of your clip and remove everything else you don't want after that. So let's say uh, we're gonna stop it right here. We hit that W key, boom. Everything after that has been cropped out. You've got your nice little clip just the way you want it. Now the X key, it serves the purpose of both but without deleting. So let's say you just wanna cut a part in between, you know, separate two clips. You might add something in there, you might edit, whatever you might do with it. You don't wanna get rid of the whole back half, you don't wanna get rid of the front. Just hit that X key, it'll make a cut for you. Instead of switching through five tools, you got one to cut, one to trim to the beginning, one to trim to the end. Easy peasy. Now, something you should keep in mind, with Q and W, if you're pressing those two keys, anything you have underneath that layer will get cut as well. So if you have music underneath the layer, it's gonna cut your music, and you gotta be careful because let's say you cut out five seconds of a clip, you're gonna subsequently cut out five seconds of the song underneath. So to avoid that, all you have to do is go down to your music layer, hit the little lock button, toggle track lock, and any adjustments you make above that from now on won't affect the music underneath. You'll have to do this with any other layer other than the one you're editing. My advice is, is if you're cutting like a vlog or a video together, do this before you add in the music. It'll just make it a little bit easier, one less step you have to worry about. Now, if for some reason your keyboard isn't synced up and doesn't have those shortcuts and you're pressing them and you're like, it's not working, it's not doing anything, easy fix. You go up to the top, go to Premiere Pro, keyboard shortcuts, and it'll bring up this purple and green and gray keyboard. You're gonna click your Q button, and under the modifiers where it says none, you can add ripple trim previous edit to playhead, and then on the W, ripple trim next edit to playhead. Previous edit, next edit, those are gonna trim them on either side. If you wanna switch it up and make it confusing, you can, I don't know, but if it's not there, you just add that command. Same goes with X, X you're gonna to wanna to add, add edit. Make sure it's under the none modifier, whereas if you press like command or command shift, it does other things as well. Once you've got those shortcuts, hit okay, and you're ready to start using them. Guess whose workflow just got wednesday -ed? That doesn't make sense, but I kinda wish it did so I could coin that phrase. Your workflow's been wednesday -ed. Just kidding, your workflow's faster. There you go. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. If you found that useful, hit the subscribe button, comment down below, be like, hey Dan, guess whose workflow's faster? Let's have a workflow race. We can edit the same video, and I bet you I'll beat you. Or, I mean, that's what you'll be saying to me, because you've become so quick at editing with those two buttons. And I'll see you in the next video. Love ya.